Greetings, boys and girls. It is now time for math. We're having fun learning math today. Math today is fun. We learn from our success. We learn from everyone. We're having fun learning math today. Math today is fun. We learn from our success. We learn from everyone. We're learning to think. Think today. Thinking today is fun. Thinking helps us solve problems. Solving problems helps everyone. We're learning to think. Think today. Thinking today is fun. Thinking helps us solve problems. Solving problems helps everyone. Boys and girls, can you help me read our learning target today? I can use strategies to help me solve problems involving money. Boys and girls, today we're going to be counting money using the part, part, whole strategy. Remember, in the part, part, whole strategy, you can have a whole amount and split it up into parts. The parts don't have to be equal parts, boys and girls. Just like we have four cubes here, but there are colored parts. Three parts are purple and one part is red. But if you put them all back together again, you still have four parts or the whole item. Okay, boys and girls, when this video is finished, please go to Brain Pop Jr. and click on dollars and cents and watch that video today. Now let's look at our problem for today. Boys and girls, the problem says, Hanyeli saved a total of $60 in January and February. If she saved $41 in January, how much did she save in February? Boys and girls, Let's go ahead and draw a part, part, whole diagram because it says that Hanyeli saved a total of $60 in January and February. So total means this is the whole number. So I'm going to draw our whole number box here at the bottom. Are you following along with me, boys and girls? I hope you have your pencil and paper. Okay, now let's look at the next sentence. If she saved $41 in January, how much did she save in February? Boys and girls, the whole or total amount is $60 for January and February. In the next sentence, they break this number apart. They say that $41 was saved only in January. So boys and girls, let's take this whole box and split it apart. Okay? $41 can be written in one of those boxes for January. Now boys and girls, do we know how much money she saved in February alone? No, we don't. So I'm just going to put a little F here for February and a question mark because we don't quite know how much she saved in February. But we do know that she saved $60 for January and February together. So boys and girls, let's think. If the total amount is $60, I'm going to go ahead and write the word total here at the bottom because that's everything put all together. Are we going to add these numbers or subtract these numbers to see what the other amount that she saved in February was? Boys and girls, if we add January to the total, aren't we going to have more than $60? Would that be correct? Let's think, boys and girls, the total amount of money that she saved was $60. She did not save more than that. So if we add 41 to 60, we're going to have more than $60. 
Remember, we can always check our answer by adding together the two parts that the total was split into to find the total answer or amount again. So boys and girls, we're trying to see how these numbers are different. We don't want to put them together. We want to take them apart to see how they're different. So boys and girls, remember, to see how numbers are different means we can subtract. Now there are many ways we can subtract, boys and girls. We can subtract using our base 10 blocks or a number line. Today, we'll use a number line to subtract. And remember, boys and girls, we can either count backwards to subtract or count up from the smallest to the largest number to subtract or to find how the numbers are different. It's easier to count from the smallest number to the largest number for me, boys and girls. How about you? So that's how we'll start. Which numbers is the least amount? Is it $41 or $60? That's right. $41 is the least amount. So I'm going to start with 41 and count up to 60. Here we go, boys and girls. Now remember, I'm going to keep counting by ones until I get to a friendly number. Remember, friendly numbers are numbers that are easy to skip count by. So fives are friendly numbers and zeros are friendly numbers because they are multiples of five or 10. Here we go. 41 plus one. 42. Let's keep going. 42 plus 1 is 43. 43 plus 1 is 44. Boys and girls, are you noticing where I'm writing my numbers? They are right below the line that touches the number line, okay? So make sure you're not writing your number inside of the jump at the bottom. Okay, let's keep going. 44 plus one is 45. Boys and girls, I see a five in the ones place. That's a friendly number. Remember, it's easy to count by fives. Okay, so let's add a fives jump to our skip count here. 45 plus 5. Think about the number after 45 when you're counting by fives. Yes, it's 50. Boys and girls, I see another friendly number. This zero means it's a tens place here. So, I can start counting by tens because the number 10 also ends in a zero. I have 50 or 5 tens, so let me jump a tens plus 10. And when we're counting by 10, what number comes after 50? That's right, 60. Boys and girls, I can stop now. I started at 41, which is the amount she saved for January, and I stopped at 60 because that is our total amount. Now, if I count the skip jumps at the top of my number line, I'll know how much money she saved in February. Can you help me? Now, boys and girls, just like money, we want to start with the largest amount first. So we have 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, plus one more is 16, another one 17, another one 18, another one 19. Boys and girls, she saved $19 in February. And if we check our answer, 41 plus 19 
equals 60. Now let's write about our problem. First, it asks, I am supposed to find out. Remember, we want to underline the question part of the sentence. How much did she save in February? So boys and girls, that's what we're trying to find out. I am supposed to find out how much Hanyeli saved in February. All right, boys and girls. Now let's look at our explanation. To solve this problem, I subtracted $41 from $60 because $60 was the total amount Hanyeli saved in January and February and $41 was how much she saved in January. I used a number line to skip count from 41 to 60 and my answer was $19. Boys and girls, pause the video and copy this so it will help you answer the problem that you're going to try on your own. All right, boys and girls, let's see what problem you're going to do on your own. I want you to read this problem, solve it, and explain what you did. Remember, boys and girls, use your own pencil and paper. After you're finished, unpause the video and check your work. Now pause the video and have fun. Welcome back, boys and girls. It is now time to check your answer. Your answer should have been $39, boys and girls. If you set up your box, your part part total box, remember the total amount that Sandy saved was $70 in January and February. We know that she saved $31 in January, so here's the $31 for January. And then it asks, how much did she save in February? So there should have been a question mark in the February box. You also know that we want to see how these two numbers are different. Because when we add our two parts together, we should get the total amount again. To see how numbers are different, we subtract. We use the number line strategy to subtract today. So you should have started at 31 and stopped at 70, just like I modeled for you a few minutes ago. And when you skip count, you want to skip count to a friendly number. So we're counting by ones until we get to 35. Then we add a 5 to get to 40, and then 3 tens to get to 70. So when you add everything up at the top of our number line, you get $39. 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39. In your explanation, you should have, I am supposed to find out how much Sandy saved in February. To solve this problem, I subtracted $31 from $70, because $70 was the total amount Sandy saved in January and February, and $31 was how much she saved in January. I used a number line to skip count from 31 to 70. And my answer was $39. Did you get everything right, boys and girls? If so, pat yourself on the back. If not, just try the problem again. Remember, we learned about the part, part, whole strategy, boys and girls. You can have a whole number, but it can also be split up into parts. And they don't have to be the same amount in each part, just as long as you can add both parts back up to get the whole amount. And remember, to find one part if the other part is missing, you subtract that part and the whole so that you can see what the other part is, because subtracting lets us know how numbers are different. 
Now it's time to complete your math assignment for today. Today, please work in your math workbook, volume 2, pages 496 to 498. After that, have fun online with Moby Max and Frankel. See you next time.